Over the past couple of years, we've had plenty of open earbuds show up at Soundguys headquarters. Earbuds like the Soundcore AeroFit series, the Bose Ultra Open Ear, the Sony Link Buds Open, and the Nothing Ear Open, just to name a few. But what exactly are open earbuds? Why are they becoming so popular? And should you buy them over a pair of traditional earbuds? Now for clarification, I'm not talking about the semi-sealed ear tipless earbuds like the AirPods 4 or the Galaxy Buds 3. Those earbuds still sit inside your ear canal. Open earbuds or open ear earbuds as you may also hear them referred to are a style of earbud that places the driver, where your music comes from, outside of your ear canal rather than inside your ear canal. Now, like traditional earbuds, open earbuds still come in a few different designs. For example, the Soundcore AeroFit and the Nothing Ear Open use a hook-shaped, over-the-ear design. Bose relies on a cuff-like clip-on design. And Sony, well, they went full Homer Simpson and use a donut-shaped design. Regardless, the goal remains the same, to deliver your music without creating a seal over your ear canal. Now, you're probably thinking, no seal? Who wouldn't want a seal? Well. Turns out, a good number of people actually. Companies are making open earbuds mainly because their open design allows users to hear their music and their environmental surroundings simultaneously. This makes open earbuds an ideal choice for athletes or outdoor cardio enthusiasts who like to exercise in busy environments like a downtown city setting. As mentioned, without that seal, you can easily hear an approaching vehicle from an alley or a hey on your left along with your music at the same time. With a good fitting set of in-ear earbuds and today's active noise cancellation technology, it's too easy to block out the world around you, dangerous things included. That said, I am noticing more and more listeners choosing to use open earbuds as their daily drivers. Some people simply want to stay mindful of their surroundings when they're out and about, or they want to enjoy some tunes while working at the office without pausing their music or taking out an earbud anytime anyone asks them a question. So. Does that mean open earbuds are set to replace traditional earbuds as we know them? Well, no, because open earbuds have a few flaws that some listeners may find completely unacceptable. Unfortunately, staying aware with an unsealed design comes at a cost, and it will hit you right where it hurts the most, in the form of sound quality. And we have the data to back that up. But before we get into frequency response charts and all that, I'm going to try and help you understand what it's like to use a pair of open earbuds without actually buying a pair. I want you to imagine yourself, or go ahead and try this for real, listening to your favorite song on your favorite set of earbuds or headphones. You know exactly how it's supposed to sound. A punchy kick drum, sparkling piano keys, and reverberated vocal tones. Now, your earbuds or your headphone cups are slowly being pulled away from your ears, breaking the seal and sitting outside your ear. Would you still say your music sounds as good as it does when you're correctly wearing your headphones? Does that kick drum still have the same hearty punch? Probably not. Just, oh, just waiting for it to buffer. Ah, damn. Go to Reddit. Yeah. R slash sound guys. <laughs> that's, that's, something that, that's something else I want you to try. <laughs> yeah. This man was waiting outside our studio for yeah. five minutes. <laughs> it's a bit of an overstatement. It's more like two minutes. R, okay. R slash sound guys. Yeah. Let us know what you think about open ear earbuds. You can buy them? You, do you want, like them? Do you want me to put that in at the end? What do you mean? The Reddit thing? Yeah, do that too. Okay, cool. And this too. Okay, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, where were we? We've seen time after time that most open earbuds, even the expensive pairs like the Bose Ultra Open Ears, simply don't produce a satisfying low end. And we often see an unnecessary spike in the treble frequencies. Now there is some hope. We are impressed with the Nothing Ear Open and its ability to produce a bump in low end frequencies. And a large part of this is due to their more ergonomic design, getting the driver placement as close to the ear canal as possible, but still without a seal. Perhaps we're still in the early stages and finally seeing some advancements, but otherwise, it's important to remember that the first job of open earbuds is to keep you aware of your surroundings and that sound quality comes second. This is the trade-off of the open ear design. Another important thing to know about open earbuds is that how they sound largely depends on where you're listening and what's happening around you. Listening in a quiet, small room will allow you to hear more of the production-related details of your music, but listening while cycling downtown with trucks flying by you is a completely different experience. This is when you'll notice the lack of bass response, and mid-range heavy instruments like distorted guitars or vocals tend to dominate the mix. You'll also need to watch your volume 
levels when you find yourself in this situation. You may find yourself cranking it up to compensate for these environmental noises, but we don't want to do any damage there now, do we? If you're headed out on a run, I do recommend listening to music you're familiar with rather than trying to catch all the production details of your favorite artist's new release. With both your music and the sounds of the outside world competing for your attention simultaneously, I often find the environmental noise catches my attention more than my music, but again, that seems to be the goal. So where does that leave us? Well, given the compromises of the open ear design, it's clear they're not likely to replace your favorite pair of in-ears anytime soon, but they still have their applications. Think of them more like a specialty set of earbuds for when you want to stay aware at all times. I mean, there's nothing wrong with owning a pair of open earbuds for your jogs through the downtown core and using a completely different set of noise canceling headphones for your commutes to and from. Now, what if you want to stay aware but you don't want to buy a dedicated pair just for the occasional run? Well, two options come to mind. Many earbuds and headphones with active noise canceling also offer transparency mode or awareness mode. This mode relies on the same microphones that the headphones or earbuds use to cancel noise, but instead amplify your surroundings for a similar effect of hearing your environment and your music simultaneously. The downside of this mode is that the microphones also tend to pick up and amplify wind noise, which is not ideal if you primarily use them for outdoor cardio or cycling. Still, it's worth a shot if you already own a pair of headphones or earbuds with this feature. Now at the start of this video, I did mention the ear tipless, one size fits all design like the Apple AirPods or the Galaxy Buds 3. Some listeners find this unsealed earbud style a decent middle ground between open ear and in-ear earbuds. While the driver does sit in your ear canal, they don't feature ear tips, meaning a less intense seal and the ability for some environmental noise to make its way into your eardrums. Some of the same drawbacks still apply. They won't produce as much bass as a product with an ear tip, but they will produce more low end than a typical open ear. That said, in our experience, the one size fits all design only works for some and plenty of people find them uncomfortable to wear after a short period of time. We do recommend trying them on before buying if you're able. So there you have it. Open earbuds are for those who want to stay aware while listening to their music and are okay with sacrificing some sound quality to do so. If you want the most immersive and detailed listening experience possible, open earbuds aren't for you. Now, if you're convinced and you want to get into the open ear action, my recommendation for the best fitting and best sounding open earbuds goes to the Nothing Ear Open, which I reviewed in this video right here. Ha ha ha!